everyone today i am going to tell you uh, about the domain and range of the square root in the denominator we have discussed these two things separately in my previous lecture that uh, i have told you about the domain and range of the square root as well as the domain and range of the functions having the denominator so today i am going to combine them together and will tell you how you can find the the domain and range of the functions having the square root as well as the denominator function in the denominator or you can say the function that are having the fractions and the square root as well so there are two conditions that we need to apply on on the questions like this for finding the domain and range the first condition that we need to apply here is of the fraction for fraction the condition we have discussed before that if you came across the fraction in a function the condition will be the denominator should not be equal to 0 the denominator should not be the expression in the denominator should not be equal to 0 so it by, why because we cannot divide the denominator and uh, by 0 it will give you undefined number so i'll write here the denominator is x minus 4 so x minus 4 so the i will write the, just the first the condition that is denominator of the function should not be equal to 0 and the second condition is on the square root when you have the square root or you can say the radical sign you cannot have the negative values inside it for that purpose you have to compare the expression inside the square root with the greater than or equal to 0 with the sign of greater than or equal to 0 so let's see here we have to do what the expression inside the denom uh, inside the square root needs to be greater than and equal to 0 because we cannot afford negative values in the under the square root because it will give you the um, complex number if in case of fraction if you divide by 0 you will get an undefined number and in case of square root if you um, uh, have the negative number inside the square root it will give you a complex number so these two conditions need to be applied on the given function of f of x to get the domain and range so let's apply, first find the domain so let's find the domain first by applying both conditions so first of all i am going to apply the first condition that is the denominator should not be equal to 0 so here the denominator is this x minus 4 so i'll write here x minus 4 should not be equal to 0 so it means x should not be equal to 4 this is the condition number 1 and then what we have to do is we have to apply the condition number 2 that is the uh, expression in the denominator under the square root should be greater than or equal to 0 so i'll apply it the expression is x minus 4 so i'll write x minus 4 should be greater than or equal to 0 so if i solve for x it will be x should be greater than or equal to 4 so now we have to see here both the conditions that do we need to include the 4 or not so the answer is no because we cannot take 4 here when we as it is clear from the second condition that it is in that here it is saying that x needs to be greater than and equal to 4 but this expression is saying that x cannot be equal to 4 so we will not take 4 because if i put the value of x equals to 4 in this expression like 1 divided by under root 4 minus 4 it will give 1 divided by 0 and this is equals to undefined number so we cannot take that value for so i can say that the domain of this function will be domain will be x greater than 4 so i have to take the values of x that are greater than 4 not less than 4 and i also cannot take equal to 4 so i'll start writing its domain as 4 to plus infinity now i have used a parenthesis or can uh, or you can say the round brackets here because 4 is not included in the domain keep this in your mind now let's find the range what will be the range now range depends on the values of x that is domain so, um, so what we can say the range of the given function will be if, if i put the value of x in the given function what values of y i will get so as it, it is clear that we have put the restriction in the domain that the value of x should be greater than 4 uh, if i put the value of x as 5 uh, as 5 minus 4 it will give give me 5 minus 4 is 1 so 1 divided by root 1 is 1 so i can say that 
the uh, i can say that the range will be then from 1 to plus infinity because i cannot get i can never get zero in the given function i will always get one in the given function by putting the values of domain so it will be from 1 to plus infinity so one will be included as i have um, used the square bracket now we move towards the next again we have to apply the both the conditions in uh, in this as well the condition number 1 that is the fraction uh, that is the condition that is fraction uh, uh, for the fraction that is denominator should not be equal to 0 so if i write here denominator should not be equal to 0 so here we have a denominator of x square minus 9 it should not be equal to 0 and if i solve it it will be x square should not be equal to 9 and if i take the square root on both sides it will be x should not be equal to plus minus 3 now let's apply the second condition that is for square root that the expression should be greater than or equal to 0 if i write expression should be greater than or equal to 0 and if I, if I if i apply it above then x square minus 9 should be greater than or equal to 0 x square should be greater than or equal to 9 and if i take the square root x should be greater than or equal to plus minus 3 here again it is saying we have to include the 3 plus minus 3 but in the condition number 1 it was saying we cannot and include plus 3 and minus 3 so we have to consider this because whenever we will put the plus 3 and minus 3 in the given function it will give you an undefined value so what will be the domain domain will be we have to take the values that are less than uh, uh, that are less than minus 3 and greater than plus 3 we can split it as x needs to be greater than 3 and less than minus 3 so in such a case the domain will be minus infinity to minus 3 and 3 will not be included union plus 3 to plus infinity and keep this in mind 3 will not be included because it will make the given function as undefined now what about the range so the range will be again as we discussed before that the range will be from 1 to plus infinity so we cannot get the we will not get the negative number in this function uh, because of the square root so its range will be 1 to plus infinity so that's all from today's lecture thank you